We first want to verify the function y equals x squared plus c divided by x squared is a solution for the differential equation xy prime plus two y equals four x squared and then we'll find the value of c for which the solution satisfies the initial condition y of five equals eight. So because we have a first order differential equation, meaning the highest derivative is the first derivative of y, we'll first have to find y prime before we can verify this function is a solution to the differential equation. Let's first write the given function y as y equals x squared. Let's rewrite c divided by x squared as c x to the power of negative two. So we'd have x squared plus c times x raised to the power of negative two. And now let's go ahead and find y prime. y prime is equal to the derivative of x squared plus c x to the negative two with respect to x, which would be two x. And then here we're going to multiply by negative two, so we'll have minus two c x to the power of negative two minus one, which is negative three. So now we'll substitute y and y prime into the differential equation and see if it satisfies the equation. So we'll have x times y prime, which is two x minus two c x to the negative three plus two times y, which would be two times x squared plus c x to the negative two equals four x squared. And now we'll clear the parentheses. So we'll distribute x here and we'll distribute two here. So we'll have two x squared then we're going to have minus two c x to the power of, well this is x to the first and this is x to the negative three. When multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. One plus negative three is negative two. So we have x to the negative two plus two x squared. And then we have plus two c x to the negative two equals four x squared. Notice how these two terms are opposites. So these two terms simplify out. Combine like terms, we have two x squared plus two x squared, which is four x squared equals on the right four x squared, which does verify that y is a solution to the given differential equation. So this is the first part of our question. The second part is to find the particular solution given the initial condition y of five equals eight. So using the general solution y equals x squared plus c divided by x squared, and the initial condition y of five equals eight, we'll substitute five for x and eight for y and solve for c. So we'd have the equation eight equals five squared plus c divided by five squared. So we have eight equals 25 plus c divided by 25. Subtracting 25 on both sides, we'd have negative 17 equals c divided by 25. So to solve for c, we multiply both sides by 25. Negative 17 times 25 is equal to negative 425. On the right side, we just have c. So part b does only ask for the value of c, so c is equal to negative 425. But this does tell us the particular solution is y equals x squared and then because c is negative 425, we can write this as minus 425 divided by x squared. Again, this problem doesn't ask for this, it only asks for the value of c. I hope you found this helpful.